Last December someone on social media suggested that Charlize Theron would be the perfect person to star in a lesbian remake of Die Hard. At the time, the 45-year-old Academy Award winner quipped in response that she would be up for the role and in a new interview with Vanity Fair published Tuesday, Theron is doubling. I mean, it's a great idea, she said. That's why I replied on Twitter because I just thought that was kind of brilliant. The initial tweet from a fan posted on December 5, 2020 read, Lesbian Christmas rom-coms are all well and good but what I really want is a die-hard where Charlize Theron goes on a rampage to save her wife Charlize quote tweeted a post responding where do I sign and suggested that her fans start pitching Hollywood. When asked about the possibility, in her recent interview, Theron seemed more than game to step into the role first made famous by actor Bruce Willis. The fact that it would be two women, she said, I was like, yeah. Sign Me On, Die Hard, starring Willis as NYPD officer John McClane, premiered to tepid reviews in 19... However, in years since, the holiday season action flick has become a classic, amassing a legion of dedicated fans and... In the movie McClane is visiting his estranged wife, Bonnie Bedelia, in Los Angeles at her office holiday party when terrorists, led by late actor Alan Rickman, start cause with nothing but his wits, an infamous air shaft and an LAPD ally on the ground. McLean goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the terrorists in order to save his wife. Most die-hard die-hard fans will argue that since the plot of the film is centered on the activities at the Nakatomi Plaza Christmas party, it is indeed a hot Theron should have no problem stepping into the role should a remake ever be on the horizon as she has already proved her action chops in films like Mad Max and Atomic. Charlize's interview was included in the 27th annual Hollywood issue of Vanity Fair which was released on Tuesday morning and offered a wide array of talent. Along with Theron, there was heartthrob Michael B. Jordan of Creed and Black Panther fame as well as Zendaya of Euphoria and Aquafina from Ocean Zay for one of their most diverse cover artists Maurizio Catalan and Pierre Paolo Ferrari directed 10 photo shoots across four con. They used modern techniques that allowed the F to minimize onset personnel and maximize COVID-19 protocol. Also included on the cover are Sasha Baron Cohen, The Trial of the Chicago 7, Borat's subsequent movie film, Maya Rudolph, Saturday Night Live, Big Mouth, Michaela Cole, I May Destroy You. Spike Lee, The Five Bloods, David Byrne's American Utopia, Lockheed Stanfield, Judas and the Black Messiah, and Dan Levy, Shits Theron said on Instagram, the 27th Vanity Fair Hollywood issue, aka a collection of people I am absolutely so honored to be in their company. In her interview the Oscar winner talked about releasing the old guard straight to Netflix. Somehow it was meant to come out in 2020, Theron says of the old guard, which hit Netflix last summer. And it was meant to just be on people's TVs. In the end, that's why I think it was so successful. It thematically speaks to things that people were going through. And so part of me is like, so what if it wasn't on a big screen? I'm not mad at the fact that probably more people saw The Old Guard than any other movie that I've ever made, outside of Fast and Furious.